So now let's talk about how to treat intoxication, how to treat intoxication with alcohol. So what do we do if somebody comes in with uh, who, has, who drank too much? So usually we observe. I mean, the dangerous thing is respiratory suppression. So we may need respiratory support. So intubation, worst case scenario. That's really only you can do. For the benzos, we have an antagonist that's called flumazenil, but usually you also observe. Now for opioids, it looks different. Here we have a very good antagonist that should be administered immediately. And because we are so worried about respiratory depression and the opioids, we should give naloxone. It's available IV, IM, subcute, many forms. That's the first line treatment for anybody with a suspected opioid overdose. And this is a mu antagonist, so directly antagonizing the mu receptor. And I should have also said flumazenil is a direct antagonist at the benzodiazepine receptor binding site. Now I want to say a couple of words about withdrawal. So once someone has a substance use disorder, their body is dependent on the drug and therefore you may experience withdrawal symptoms. Now for withdrawal, it's usually the opposite of the drug's effect. Now I want to ask you a question, which withdrawal is the most dangerous? And I hope you're going to say alcohol or the other barbiturates, benzodiazepines that act on the GABA receptor. Why? Because when you act on the GABA receptor, you basically have the capacity of being an anti seizure medication and benzos are these and barbiturates are still used in kids and were once major anti seizure medications. So you're going to get the opposite. So what is the most dangerous thing about withdrawal is seizures here. That's not going to happen for the opiates. That's much less dangerous. That's life-threatening, seizures. Withdrawal, usually most of the drugs in withdrawal lead to autonomic hyperactivity because you're in fight and flight. You want the drug very badly. So you're going to have symptoms like tachycardia, tremor, blood pressure goes up. Just autonomic hyperactivity. For the opiates, what is here characteristic? Well, as part of the autonomic hyperactivity that you're also going to see here. You're going to have goosebumps. Again, that's part of autonomic nervous system overreaction. You want the drug very badly, but it's super characteristic for opioids, and that's where the expression going cold turkey comes from. And then what else do we see? Um, muscle aches, so it's quite painful. And that also makes sense. Again, withdrawal is always the body is showing you that it needs a drug. Opioids are anti-pain. These are painkillers. So now we're going to have a lot of pain. So that body shows us we need to use opioids again. So muscle aches, yawning, nothing kind of dangerous, but pretty characteristic. And then you also have mydriasis, pupillary dilation. And just to reiterate, this is life-threatening because of the seizures. This is not pleasant, but generally not life-threatening opioid withdrawal.